This is a project to help kids generalize uh, newly acquired social skills into authentic classroom settings, like general ed classroom settings. And, um, you know, the, the work of uh, a lot of researchers over the years uh, has shown that uh, uh, kids have the most difficult time taking things they first learn and applying them in novel environments. And so if we train these social skills in a special ed resource room, we can't really expect kids, particularly kids with IEPs, to take those new skills and apply them nicely in their general ed classroom. So this study employs some technology that Amber's going to tell you about. First piece I'm going to introduce to you is a very small piece. It's called the Nano and it's kind of, I would say, the highlight of the project. This little Nano is actually a mini speaker and it has this wire and this wire is what allows it to be able to be pulled out and in from the ear. This uh, nano slides into the ear canal and so that the wire is still sticking out so that you shouldn't be able to see it. Uh, one thing that's important to note is that we will clean these um, and we'll use a special spray that's designed for things like earpieces or even hearing aids for instance. I will also say that this device is not like a hearing aid in that we're not going to have the problems with the squealing or any of that that you might be used to when people are wearing hearing aids. This is a fairly simple device that just fits snug in the ear and you can't even see that it's there. And it won't get stuck in the ear. It's easy to get out and it, you just use this little wire to pull it out. The battery that goes into this little Nano is um, a watch battery. And the important part to remember is the orientation of it that the letters, there are letters on one side and there's sort of a round circle on the other. The letters need to go towards the top, and that's the part where the wire is, towards the top of the Nano. And so when you slide the battery in, just make sure that the words are towards the top. And in fact, if you put it, the battery in and it doesn't work, flip it over. The second piece of equipment that goes along with the Nano is this Bluetooth uh, microphone and receiver. The microphone is on this side and the receiver is on this side. Now it, again it goes around the neck of the participant, put it around, and then once they've got it around their neck, and that's important so that the Nano can pick up the reception, um, they want to hit this big button for five seconds until the light turns blue, and then theoretically your phone should detect that the Bluetooth has been turned on and it asks you if you want to connect to it and you just scroll up and say yes. Okay, and then it tells you that the connection has been made. And at that point, you can make a call from the phone or you could receive a call and it will come through this Bluetooth device and into the Nano that's in my ear right now. And then it actually tucks underneath the clothes. The other piece of equipment that I do want to introduce is a Polycom camera. And the Polycom is a video conferencing camera that does actually have both audio and video, but we're going to be using it for this project primarily for the video component and then the audio coming from the classroom that the student's in to the university setting. The Polycom camera allows the university professor to literally be sitting in the room with the student who has the Nano in their ear and that gives them that video feed. The way that we're going to use the equipment is it'll be sitting in the student's classroom, probably in a corner somewhere, and the monitor will be off. Theoretically, nobody else in the room knows that that camera is on except the student with the Nano and the teacher in that room. And uh, the Nano, again, the audio feeds through a telephone, and the video feeds through the polycom, as well as the ambient noise in the classroom. It also goes through the polycom. So the uh, professor on this end will actually be watching all of this on the Polycom, and we're going to do a demo for you to show you what that looks like. I will be able to see Amber, and I will be able to use my cell phone to coach Amber. Uh, Amber is able to hear me through her nano earpiece, um, but uh, she cannot see me. There's no need for that necessarily. First thing I'm going to do is use my remote and I'm going to uh, make the connection. The IP number's been pre-set and 
and we just go to the setting and now we're connecting and there's Amber and so what I'll do now is uh, call Amber from my cell phone to her cell phone which in turn will be transmitted to the Bluetooth device uh, in her ear with the uh, non Nano. So here we go and I'm dialing Amber's cell And you can hear her cell phone, I think. She's going to answer or Hello. connect. And I now should be talking to Amber through the nano uh, earpiece. Amber, am I doing that? Yes, I can hear you through the earpiece. Okay. Okay, Earl, well, I think my meeting's about to start. Okay. And, um, so I will stop looking at the camera knowing that you're there. Okay. Hi. Hello. Sorry, I'm late for the meeting. That's all right. How have you been? I'm very good. Good. It's beautiful Earth Day. It is beautiful Earth Day, April 22nd. And how many years has it been since Earth Day was first started? Do you remember? Do you remember how many years it's been since Earth Day first started? I imagine that something started in the 70s, but I could. I bet you're right. 40 it's years better. today. 40 years today. I think that's maybe about right. Yeah. And it was just a few months after. Uh, what interesting time! I am. They just come to me.